On November 1st, at 7.45 at night, I was home doing my laundry. I was wearing a robe and nothing more. There was a knock on my door, and I went and opened the door because it was four cops, and I wasn't afraid of the cops on November 1st. I am now. I was arrested because they had a warrant for me from the Colorado Attorney General. I live in Florida. They took me into custody and it took almost 10 hours to get me booked into the jail. I didn't get to make my first phone call for nine and a half hours. I was put in jail on a no bond hold, which means I wasn't allowed bail. I was that dangerous to the world that I had to be incarcerated without the option of bail. After 20 days of sitting in that jail with no sentence, no nothing, I had not been tried. The Attorney General's Office of Colorado sent for me and in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. without any warning whatsoever. The guards came and got me, pulled me out of bed, what, get up, you got five minutes, you're being relocated. And then I was taken downstairs in chains I was DNA swapped, I was fingerprinted, I was strip searched, you know, lift your boobs up, open your mouth, let them see in your ears, bend over, all that stuff, it was horrible. Then they redressed me and put chains around my ankles, chains around my waist, handcuffs, and a block in between my handcuffs and two deputies shuffled me out of the Lee County Jail into a waiting car and then off to the airport and on a plane to Denver, Colorado. The next morning, when the judge saw me, he said, well, these are really low-level charges. What is she doing here? And he set me free on my own recognizance, no bail necessary, free to fly back to Florida. I didn't have a wallet, no ID, no credit card, no cell phone, no coat. It was Thanksgiving in Colorado. I was wearing a pair of flip-flops and I had to arrange my own way home. I was never read my rights. I was denied the ability to speak to my attorney the entire 21 days I was in police custody. I didn't get to make my phone call. I told you that for nine and a half hours. I was abused by the Lee County Sheriff's Department and their um, officers, and I will go into a great deal about that later. Um, but I was set free. Then I went through two months of negotiations with Robert Shapiro, the Attorney General of Colorado's division. Of the division. He's Assistant Attorney General. But the man tried to charge me with a crime he knew I did not commit. I assisted the police in the investigation. I did everything. And in the end, he wanted me more than he wanted anybody else. Why? Because I went to January 6th. Because I worked in the 2016 election to get Donald Trump elected and in multiple other elections to get other Republicans elected. Yesterday, I pled guilty to a misdemeanor to tampering with a petition, and I will show you the letter that I had to send to the Secretary of State of Colorado. I want you to know I pled guilty to that simply and only to extricate myself from the horrible hands of the Attorney General of Colorado. I don't believe my team cheated. I don't believe they did. I think the Secretary of State lied her ass off. We were trying to put a Trumper on the ballot in 2022 for Congress. We had just put a sheriff on the ballot. We had just put a House member on the ballot in Colorado just the weeks before. Successfully, I did that. There's a sheriff serving in Colorado because I was there two years ago and put him on the ballot. And at the same time, I was trying to put a different guy on the ballot. The Secretary of State says I, that the team cheated. I didn't cheat. I never have cheated in politics. <clears throat> but the Attorney General wanted me to take the full price of it. 
I have been told that from this day forward, if a cop sees me out on the streets, especially one that I went to jail with, that they could shoot me. And um, they'd get away with it because I'm always going to be the bad guy and they're all going to be the innocent victim. The Lee County Jail is an atrocious place. And I can't, I can't wait to go into great detail about everything that happened. Um, but I don't feel I'm guilty of anything. I signed a petition because my boss would not pay my employee without this signed petition. Then I went to my other bosses and said, it is wrong to make me do this and put myself in legal jeopardy because you're too cheap to pay your employee. And both of my other bosses agreed and they decided not to ever use that petition. One of the owners at the last minute put that petition into the count and now my life has been destroyed. I haven't made money in three months. There are news articles out there. They sent news cameras to my home. There are news articles out there that say I'm a horrible human being. And it was all done for news headlines. Donald Trump got indicted by the same man, Attorney General of Colorado, while I was sitting in a jail cell. He got pulled off the ballot weeks after I got out of jail. And when you Google my name, Diana Watt, you will see my real estate stuff come up. You'll see the mugshot. Um, you'll see all of it. But then if you Google my name and you add January 6th to it, nothing but Colorado art articles come up. My real estate, nothing else comes up but except Colorado and January 6th. You cannot tell me that these two things weren't linked. You cannot tell me that he didn't play such hardball with me and torture me. Because let me tell you, be a single woman and have four men show up at your house at night and throw you into handcuffs and throw you in a jail cell for 21 days and you can't see anybody. And you have no rights whatsoever. That's what happened to me in the United States of America for a misdemeanor too that carried no sentence other than 90 days probation with no conditions and no supervision. They jailed me and extradited me across this country in chains looking like an animal for something that nobody would do jail time for. And he did that to be cruel. I'll be talking about this a lot more. I'm going to put up the letter that I had to write to the Secretary of State so that I'm totally transparent and you can see everything and make a judgment from there. Our justice system is horrible. The abuses I saw on all levels, especially at the Lee County Jail. So, okay, series starts now. A lot of deep conversations. I'll talk to you guys soon.